This is not an update video. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it in any other video, but I'm going on a mission trip. The end of March? Or beginning of April? The end of April? Beginning of May? I can't remember right now. I'm going with some members of the church, and I need to get a... I thought it was just a chauffeur's license to drive like the little, the church bus, which I had in Michigan. And I'm like, oh, it's just a written test, whatever. So I just drove over to our uh, DMV, I think is what it's called down here. I guess there's a lot of stuff. I got to get a, like a truck driver's physical. I got to bring the church van, the church bus with me here to take like take a road test, which I didn't know I had to take a road test. So they had told me, one of the ladies at church told me there's a road test and all this. I'm like, there's no way, but it's an actual CDL license. It's not just a chauffeur's license. So I got to go through all kinds of stuff and try to get this taken care of. I honestly didn't realize it was this involved. So I'll take this home, go over everything, try to get my physical done this week and then study for the test. Cause it seems like it's a little bit more involved. CD, uh, the uh, chauffeurs up in Michigan that I had was, I mean, it was, idiot proof questions you know uh, just simple simple things more like driving with the trailer so it was common sense but so we'll see how this goes i am gonna go get some lunch now because i am starving so today well yesterday was monday today's tuesday you'll be seeing this on wednesday monday's video Let's see. Well, Monday's video was Sunday. So the video, the recording that I was doing yesterday was very last minute because throughout the day yesterday, I'd almost decided I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do, I'm, I don't feel like doing a video per day anymore just because I got so much stuff going on with work and the kids and it's just, it's a constant thing. And then I'm trying to fit in the video. Um, but I think I'm going to do, obviously I posted a video yesterday, today. So uh, later in the evening, uh, like at night, at like 8, 9, 30, or 8, 30, 9 o'clock, I decided, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do a video because I, I like the streak I got going. I had the idea because I had already filmed and done the, the virtual tour, so I just put that together uh, last night and this morning as well. So what I wanted to do, what I decided to do, is film more of me doing stuff instead of having to think of a concept every single day to do something. Sort of just film and see what happens and put something together. The other thing I decided is today, I didn't release the video at 9 a.m. my time, like I always do, which is 10 Eastern. I decided to wait and I'm gonna start posting later in the day, which is always part of my, I don't wanna say plan, but I always planned, I guess some point after loading the videos after a certain amount of time I wanted to change the time of day to see if that improved engagement or views or anything like that I've been doing nine o'clock for 76 videos well I think the first ones were a little hit and miss but pretty consistent with 9 a.m. for I would guess 60 70 60 65 70 videos and on average, I probably get maybe 150 views. That's average. Some of them are lower, some of them are higher, but say about 150 views. So I really wanted to see what would happen to post later in the day for, again, a, a certain amount of time to see if that, that improves that. Uh, I don't think it will, but the other thing that it does is gives me more time to where if I... Uh, release at 2 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. my time, I get the evening to record video, and then I also get the morning, lunch time, all that to, or at least lunch at work, I can actually edit the video and put it up or edit some the night before. It, it gives me a little bit more breathing room than having it, I, before I had to have it ready the night before, schedule it before I went to bed, and that meant sometimes staying up till midnight and then getting up at 4 a.m. for the gym, so it was just, it sorta was beating me down. So I think this will help to give me a little bit more wiggle room. This is not an update video. We are on our way to Walmart to pick up a few things. Um, Gracie's in a mood. But Sawyer wasn't up for basketball tonight, and I wasn't up for dragging him there. So we're skipping basketball practice. He plays one quarter during the game, so I don't think missing a practice this week is really going to affect his game. So, so we're going to run up to Walmart. We're going to get them some popcorn chicken, which seems to be their favorite meal is Walmart popcorn chicken, which I'm not even sure is real popcorn. Arby, 
<laughs> not even sure it's real uh, chicken. So, uh, but anyways, I just finished watching the first episode of Dirty Money. It's a docu series on Netflix, and the first one was about the Volkswagen emission scandal that happened a few years back. Well, I guess it, it probably came to a head last year, and it's still, I think, still going on. But they started discovering things. Uh, uh, was it 2012 or I don't know for quite a while but anyways it's very very interesting if you're um, I have an automotive background and my industry I'm in is automotive so I'm very interested in it but it was very telling very interesting uh, crazy there was a lot of details of stuff that went on especially the stuff they talk about at the very end I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but it was stuff that I hadn't heard about. It sounds like VW is trying to get um, what they did there suppressed, so it's not eligible in court. Um, but yeah, they are just, it's a crazy culture there at VW. So, uh, and I'm close to the Chattanooga plant that, well, let's just say I'm close to the Chattanooga plant and have been there a few times. So it's just, like I said, just very interesting what went on, what they thought they could get away with and just scary that corporations have that type of power in different parts of the world. Because my, my thing with all this pollution and, you know, oil spills in the water and all this stuff is, if you look at the planet as a sphere, which I do, you know, air pollution, how do you consider that just locked into one country? That's why I think the Paris Accord is, uh, was, or is a very good thing, is a very good thing and was a very good thing for the United States before we pulled out of it. I just think it's, you know, because we're inside of the atmosphere is on the inside, so pollution on the other side of the world somehow, in my head, logically, affects every other part of the world. Same thing with the water. I mean, whether it's diluted by the time it gets here or dissipated in the, in the air, it's still bad, so yeah, anyways. Anyways, I highly recommend Dirty Money. I can't wait to watch the other ones. There's uh, four or five different episodes in that docu-series. So it looks like it's off to a great start. So that's it for this one. Make sure you guys, tomorrow's video I'm super excited for because I have the package coming in from B&H. Should be in tomorrow morning, hopefully semi-early. I'll be unboxing. That's the Canon 60 Mark II and the 24 millimeter f1.4. So I'll be unboxing those in the video, setting them up, and then switching over from the Canon 5D Mark IV that I usually shoot on to the 60D Mark II, which you, if you missed that video, the big thing that that has is the flip out screen. So I'm curious to try that and make sure that I'm not just, you know, looking at the screen, whichever side it's on, this side I think it'll be on, the whole time. But like I said, I'm gonna try, I think I have it for 30 days, so I'm gonna try to vlog with it for 30 days or so, unless I don't like it, but I have a feeling I will. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys tune in for that. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, you can do that down below. Till tomorrow. Come on, come on.